I'm Stephen Hamilton, board certified in criminal law by the Texas Board of Legal Specialization, practicing criminal defense in DWI in Lubbock, Texas and on the South Plains. My practice is dedicated to defending anyone who's arrested in Lubbock or the South Plains in the offense of driving while intoxicated. I'm also the author of the book, The Texas DWI Guide. I wrote this book to help folks understand the law and ensure that they know their rights and how they can protect their future. You can download a free copy of my book at the end of this video tip. In recent years, Texas has been coming down hard on those suspected of driving while intoxicated. With about half of the suspected drivers refusing field sobriety and breathalyzer tests, the police have sought search warrants to permit them to obtain blood samples in order to determine a person's blood alcohol content. Blood tests can be far more accurate, but they're also far more invasive than a breath test. Instances where police officers seek search warrants signed by judges to obtain blood samples are markedly on the rise. One of the more innovative approaches in Texas is the institution of the No Refusal Weekend. Through the cooperation of the police, prosecutors, and judges, and frequently funded by MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and National Holiday Weekends, uh, when the instances of DWI offenses have typically been noticeably higher, have been dubbed No Refusal Weekends, meaning if you refuse to provide a sample, they'll attempt to get a search warrant. During these weekends, areas such as Memorial Day, Fourth of July, Labor Day, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, weekend magistrates are available 24 hours a day to speedily sign search warrants permitting police to draw blood from suspects. Must you consent to a blood draw? Absolutely not. We strongly advise that you stay silent, refuse all tests, and make the arresting officer responsible obtain enough evidence against you to secure a search warrant. It's not your job to make it easier. At the very least, it makes it a bit easier to challenge the warrant if you have refused any and all tests, breath, blood, and field sobriety tests. There is also a possibility that an officer might make a mistake uh, if hastily performing his duties, and that's when a skilled DWI attorney can argue the procedure was done improperly and possibly get the search warrant deemed effective and all related evidence tossed. If you've been charged with any offense that includes alcohol, including driving while intoxicated, download a copy of my book, The Texas DWI Survival Guide, and call my office at the number below so that we can start to immediately build the right defense for your case.